Yes, indeed. Uh, the latest results of our analysis and of the ICT Development Index has shown that in almost all countries that were included, uh, which means 155 countries in the world, have increased their uh, values for the ICT Development Index. So this means that in those countries, ICT developments are increasing and more and more people are actually using internet and having access to ICT services uh, such as mobile and broadband. And uh, we have seen now that there are 6 billion mobile cellular subscriptions worldwide. There are 2.3 billion people online now, and uh, we have seen double-digit growth rates in most of the ICT services, especially in developing countries. And this is indeed very promising news. Yes, I would like to highlight two major developments that can explain this very strong growth. One is the availability of mobile broadband services and the growth in the availability. We have now more than 160 countries worldwide where mobile broadband services are offered commercially. This all uh, happened during the past few years. So this has driven a very strong growth, especially in developing countries where broadband uptake is still quite uh, limited. And this has helped uh, tremendously to bringing more people online. The other important um, trend is the decrease in price of ICT services. We have been monitoring ICT prices now for four years, and there has been a 30% drop in the price of ICT services over the past four years. And in terms of fixed broadband, there has been a drop of 75%, very strong uh, decrease, especially in developing countries. And this uh, continuous decline in prices combined with the increase in mobile broadband services both contribute significantly to the strong growth in access to internet and other ICT services in developing countries. Well, there are some major differences, of course, across the world. And we are looking at the ICT developments um, for developed countries and for developing countries. So we compare those and we also look at different regions. And um, developing countries are still behind. In fact, uh, the value of the index that we have computed is twice as high in developed countries compared to developing countries. So developing countries are still catching up and especially in terms of uh, broadband, even though it is growing strongly, as we have seen in terms of the figures, there are still huge differences when it comes to penetration rates in developing uh, and in developed countries. So that is uh, a growth a sector, and there is a lot that needs to be done in terms of catching up. But at the same time, uh, we have also seen that the most dynamic countries so countries where growth is the strongest and that have made most progress over the past year in terms of the ICT Development Index are primarily from the developing countries and from all regions, from Africa, from Asia, from the Commonwealth of Independent States. So you have uh, strong growth countries in all of these regions. And um, this is very promising because this shows you where the trend goes in the future and we are expecting the numbers uh, to increase uh, significantly over the coming few years.